Welcome to Workout Wednesdays with Woods. Today we have hamstrings. Let's get right into it. Thanks for coming out. Roman hamstring curls. So as you see, the goal here is to lift your body using the pull of your hamstrings. In order to do that, uh, I had to hook my feet into the bottom of my bedpost. Um, you can also do this with a partner holding down the back of your ankles and pulling your hamstrings and back, lower back muscles towards the partner. Uh, it helps to have a padded area for your knees uh, and also for when you're falling forward. But if you don't have a partner, you can do as just pictured and uh, hook in yourself. Now we're going to do lying down hamstring curls. Uh, if you have a stretch band, you can use the stretch band and then make adjustments as I slid forward if you need more tension or less tension if you want to slide back and forth. Same thing, you just want to be in a controlled mo uh, movement. Uh, keep your toe pointed down and try to get as much range of motion throughout the hamstring curl just like any other exercise. Here I'm going to add uh, a second rope for added extra uh, resistance and again make the adjustment and monitor your range of motion. If you're not getting the full range of motion uh, you want to slide back or slide forward and that goes for all things. Range of motion is very very important in uh, exercising so that you're getting long muscles and you're maximizing your workout time. Alright now what I could have done first was to show the intermediate or beginners you don't need a stretch band at all you can use the own resistance of your leg muscles because your leg muscles are so big and strong um, they have counter forces so basically you can curl the leg using just resistance of the opposite muscle and that's what I'm doing here in the seated hamstring curl if you extend out your foot and bring it back in slowly you'll feel the muscle contracting for our isometric uh, movement and that's what we're doing here we're overtraining the hamstring we're going to maximize its effort and fatigue it here is another stretch band added in uh, you feel a little bit different angles from seated to laying down the main thing again is range of motion you want to pull back as far as possible so that that calf muscle muscle is touching the top of the chair here again is added resistance you can double up on the bands and then adjust the chair accordingly if you want more or less resistance very simple uh, simple workout but it can be very um, gainful the hamstrings are very important to uh, lower back and back strain as well. Sometimes people have uh, back problems and it's because their hamstrings are weak and they need to be built up. And finally to end the workout it's very important to use stretching for these muscles to keep them nice and long and loose. You can go with a strap or a belt but around the ball of your foot straight into the air and then also to out to the side also putting your foot up on a ledge or a chair to straighten out the knee and get the whole back of the knee straight as well as pointing the toe up in the air or keeping one leg straight and bending the other side to side or crossing over your legs and stretching out side to side okay hamstring exercises for today very important uh, muscle. Don't skip out on it. It's very important for your lower back and the rest of your muscles. Thanks for coming out.